Welcome to Bella Bean's Chinese Food Kitchen. How are you? Do you have a beautiful winter? Yes, we did. We had a very beautiful, very amazing winter this year. In today's kitchen, I'm going to share with you a mung bean sprout stir fry recipe. It has many benefits to eat mung bean sprouts in the springtime. Especially eat the mung bean sprouts grow by ourselves. In this recipe, I use the mung bean sprouts grow by myself, and I use some bean curd seed, and a little bit red pepper, and a little bit pork tenderloin, and others are shown on this photo. You see the pork. Tenderloin is still a little frozen, so it is easy to cut it into thin slices. So first we cut it into thin slices and then let them to defrost it. Next, we cut garlic into thin slices and cut. This red pepper into small strips. Then open the bean curd seed bag. Oh, it is still a little frozen. We cut off one third of it and put the left in the freezer. Then we cut this seed into three seeds. Then put all the seeds together. Cut them into small strips. Next, heat the pan over medium heat. When it is hot enough, add in oil. Then add in the slices meat. Stir fry, stir fry. About one minute, or until the meat change color to white. Now we add in slices garlic. Add in ground Sichuan pepper, and stir fry and mix everything. Add in salt. Add in light soy sauce. Stir fry, mix everything. Then add in cold water. When the water is boiling, add in the bean curd seeds. Stir fry, stir fry everything. And uh, the soup is not enough, so we add in another half cup of cold water. Now we turn the heat to low heat. Then cover it and to boil about three minutes. After three minutes, we open the cover. You see, now the bean curd seeds. Ah, uh, very soft and tender. So, we stir fry and boil another one minute. Let the soup vaporize a little bit. Then we add in slices red pepper. Add in mung bean sprouts. Turn the heat to high. Stir fry everything. You see. The chopstick and the wood turner, they cooperated very well. We try to mix everything. Then add in the superior mature vinegar. This vinegar is very important to the taste. Then we add in oyster sauce. 
They mix everything. Stir, stir. About twenty seconds. Then everything well cooked. We turn off the heat and transfer them to the plate. Wow, the mixture looking so nice. Make sure we keep the liquid because the liquid, the taste are so nice. You can eat this stir fry with steamed rice or boiled spaghetti. Then the soup, the liquid inside this plate are very important for the whole taste. Now I start to eat my lunch. Try this plate first. It is a little bit sour, a little bit salty, and good chewing texture, and the taste of the spring. That's the reason I like this plate. If you like my recipe, you may click subscribe as well as the bell to subscribe my channel. Then you won't miss any of my recipe. Thank you so much for your watching. Take care. Keep good. See you next time.